I'm Belle Ruth Knapperstack, and this is Guided Imagery, designed to help you overcome the effects of trauma. As you listen, remember, you're in control of this experience, and can do as much of it or as little of it as you wish. Guided imagery is a very good way to help your mind, body, and spirit heal. It's gentle but powerful, and has been shown to help reduce anxiety, depression, and fatigue and to improve motivation, self-esteem, and concentration. And it can reach places inside of you that conscious thinking sometimes can't. This guided imagery has been carefully researched, written, and tested. Every word, phrase, image, and idea has a good reason for being here. Try to listen to this once or twice a day for at least several weeks. Over time, it will have a stronger and stronger effect. You may even find that the imagery on it will seem to change of its own accord. You may want to take a break from it after a while and then come back to it at a later time. Different parts of this will probably capture your attention at different times. Always feel free to ignore or change the parts that don't suit you. Your unconscious mind in its own wisdom will probably do that for you anyway. You don't need to pay perfect attention for this to work. In fact, your mind will probably drift in and out, and that's fine, especially with repeated listening. If you notice your mind wandering, you can gently guide it back. And because this imagery is designed to help you become relaxed, it's best not to play it while driving. But you can listen to the affirmations anytime. If possible, try to position your hands the same way each time you listen. Over time, this will become a kind of conditioning cue to help you move very quickly into a place of deep inner relaxation. Don't worry if the imagery brings forth some unexpected emotion. That just means it's working for you in a deep way. Getting connected to your feelings is an important part of your healing. But if this makes you too uncomfortable, you can always take a break and come back to it some other time. But for now, see if you can take this next while to commit yourself to this process of engaging the power of your imagination to help you heal by gently immersing yourself in this safe and easy process. All you have to do is settle in and let yourself listen. To begin with, see if you can position yourself as comfortably as you can, shifting your weight so that your body feels well supported. And gently allowing your eyelids to close if that's comfortable and arranging it so that your head, neck, and spine are straight. And letting your hands rest comfortably on your body, on your chest or midriff or abdomen, so you can feel the rise of your body when you breathe in. And the way it settles back down when you breathe out. So you're becoming more and more attuned to the feel of your breath moving in and out of your body. And now, breathing in as fully as you comfortably can and breathing out completely and easily. And with the next in-breath, Imagining that you're sending the warm energy of your breath to any part of your body that's sore or tense or tight. 
and releasing the tension with the exhale. So you can feel your breath going to all the tight, tense places, warming and loosening and softening them, and then gathering up the tension and breathing it out so that more and more you can feel relaxed and comfortable watching the cleansing action of your breath. And any unwelcome thoughts that come to mind, those too can be noted and acknowledged and sent out with the breath. So that for just a moment, the mind is empty. For just a split second, it is free and clear space and you are blessed with stillness. And any emotions that may be rocking around inside, those too can be noted and sent out with the breath so that your emotional self can be still and quiet like a lake with no ripples. And now, see if you can turn your attention inward for a moment to see how your body's feeling. Noticing where it might feel tense or tight or achy or sore and where it feels loose and comfortable and open. So you're moving your awareness down into your body, taking a moment to pay attention to how it's feeling, noticing any sensations in your head, your neck, moving your awareness into your shoulders, down your arms and into your hands. Seeing how it feels inside your chest, down your back, inside your belly, moving your awareness into your hips and your bottom, your thighs, your knees, your calves and feet. So you're just taking a moment to check in with your body, your oldest friend, your steadiest companion. Still aware of your breathing in and out, slow and steady. And now, taking an extra moment to focus on your heart. Connecting to the powerful rhythms of your heart. Sensing how it pulses life and strength all through your body. Strong and steady. just becoming aware of how it feels right now, all around and through your heart, because it changes from moment to moment, and maybe you're aware of some tightness around your heart, or some fluttery feelings, or an ache inside or a heavy sensation. Maybe it feels hard around your heart, or it might feel exposed and vulnerable. You might sense deep pockets of sorrow tucked away inside. But whatever you notice, you're continuing to breathe deeply and easily curious but detached, 
noticing what's there with the neutral eye of a camera. No praise, no blame. You slowly become aware of a warm and gentle presence beside you. Very comforting. Maybe this someone or something is familiar, or maybe not. But clearly is radiating love and protection and support. And you somehow know that this visitor knows you in a deep and true way. That this presence accepts you as you are and carries great comfort and care. And maybe with a soft touch on your shoulder, your guide invites you to come along so that together you can explore your own broken heart. The gentlest invitation to see if you are willing and somehow together you magically enter the weary landscape of your own heart. Perhaps slipping in through a torn or jagged place to have a look around for the sake of your own healing. And so you enter your heart. And it may seem harsh and dark and cold inside at first as you look around here in this topmost layer. Because you're making your way through crumpled piles of shattered dreams, ragged heaps of lost innocence, and your guide is at your side, comforting and encouraging you to continue, gently pointing out crusty outcroppings of old guilt and self-blame. Acknowledging with you the chill wind of loneliness that howls through this place. Helping you move through smoky slag heaps, crackling and steaming with helpless anger. Gently guiding you around sticky tar pits of shame. Pointing out the heavy quicksand of self-pity. And showing you startling geysers of terror suddenly bursting forth at unexpected times. Announced by a loud crack as they break through the surface. And then gone as inexplicably as they appear. And so you walk together, gently exploring the territory of your own pain, continuing to breathe deeply and easily, always aware of the comforting presence at your side. And you notice that you can explore this harsh landscape with steady courage like the survivor that you are, even though it's not pretty. But somehow you know that even in this ravaged, lonely place, there is great power here, that treasures are buried deep in the debris. And your guide looks at you with wise and loving eyes and says, you can't make this place go away, but your courage in exploring it will change it in time. And there are gifts for you here where you'd least expect to find them. And leaning down, picks up a luminous object from under the rubble and gives it to you for safekeeping and it might feel warm in your hand, 
a perfect fit as you wrap your fingers around it and continue along your way. Noticing a golden light glowing up from the ground some distance away and walking toward it, you slowly approach what looks like a glowing cave or hollow with a hazy golden light filtering out from it. And you can see that this is a tunnel, but like no other because it glows, leading down into an older, deeper part of your heart. And so the two of you enter, continuing to breathe deeply and easily moving along the glowing pathway deeper and deeper sensing a sweet peace in the soft golden air that gently billows all around you and so you travel together down into the deep center of your heart until you emerge into an exquisite landscape, a place pulsing with its own peaceful, stunning beauty, awash in light and color, with air that sings with healing energy, dancing gently on your skin, and you're captivated by the breathtaking radiance and splendor of this place, buoyed and held by the sweet magic all around you. Aware that somehow this place is familiar to you, you know this place, and slowly you remember that this is your oldest home, the part of you that can never be destroyed, the exquisite core of who you really are. And you can inhale the beauty of this place with deep, full breaths, breathing it in and letting its healing energy permeate every part of you, sending soft waves of comfort and peace all through your body. Your companion smiles and with a gesture calls forth a gentle parade of guardians and allies, sweet spirits, magical beings, animal helpers, guardian angels, teachers and guides, powerful ancestors, old and dear friends, sweet singers and dancers, some familiar, some not, but all smiling and nodding, gently approaching one by one. And you can see that they are holding out to you with great tenderness and respect, the shattered pieces of your heart, delicate, sparkling shards and slivers lost or left along the way, separated from you at times of great fear and anguish. But now, in this place, in the deepest, oldest, truest part of you, they are tenderly offered back still pulsing with life and power. 
and you know that you can take back whatever you wish, whatever you're ready for, no more, no less. So you can stand at full strength, your full self and much more, more wisdom, more power, more compassion for yourself and others. More awareness of the invisible support all around you. And you might tentatively accept one or two pieces to see how it feels to have them back. And suddenly you are certain you know with your whole being that you are healing, that you will continue to heal, that a time is coming when you will accept your sorrow, dismiss your shame, release your anger, forgive yourself, reclaim your strength, and express your gifts And so, whenever it's time to say goodbye, you thank your visitors and watch them depart. And you and your guide make your way back up through the tunnel lit with golden light. Step by step, you walk together. until closer to the surface, you reach the darker, cooler landscape of your pain. Although perhaps it looks a little different now, not quite as dismal or heavy or dark. And as your departing steps crunch through the debris, you might notice other luminous treasures twinkling at you from the rubble. And you may pick one or two up, or you may decide to come back for them later, because perhaps you have all you can carry for now. And so together, the two of you come back out of your heart and your guide, with a look of great tenderness, gently touches the center of your chest. And you can feel the soft warmth of it fill your heart, spill over into your chest, fill your whole torso, your shoulders, neck and head, Move into your arms and legs, your hands and feet, until your whole body is filled with warmth. And with a bow, your guide withdraws for now. And you can be peaceful and easy knowing you can invoke more assistance whenever you wish to further the work you've already done. And so, breathing deeply and easily, very aware of your hands and your feet, of the support beneath your body, your breath in your belly, you can very softly open your eyes, perhaps becoming aware of how good it feels to stretch and move after being still for so long, and knowing in a deep place that you are better for this. 
and so you are. These are affirmations, positive statements designed for repeated listening, a sort of reprogramming of your unconscious mind to combat negative thinking. 
Over time, they can help you make profound changes. For some people, affirmations are more effective and appealing than guided imagery. See if you can listen to each statement in a state of open, relaxed attention, breathing in deeply with each one and repeating it softly to yourself, either aloud or in your mind. I declare my intention to heal myself in body, mind, and spirit. More and more, I understand that this will happen as it should, in its own way and its own time. I invite assistance from friends and loved ones, past, present, and future, to lend me their support and strength. I see myself surrounded by their love and caring and I feel it all through me like a warm wave. I know I am better and better able to accept what I feel as my inner truth of the moment. More and more, I can acknowledge the times I feel anger, loneliness, sorrow, guilt, terror, despair, or shame. I know that the more I can acknowledge and accept what I feel without criticism or blame, the more I allow myself to heal. More and more, I can accept my feelings soften around them and breathe through them. I am better and better able to be kind and gentle toward myself. I can see myself becoming more and more patient with myself and others. More and more, I know that when I can let go of harsh expectations of myself and others, I allow myself to heal. I know that I am learning to listen to my body and sense what it needs. More and more, I can consider the possibility that my body is my ally, my oldest friend, and my steadiest companion. I 
I know that when I appreciate my body, respect it, and take good care of it, I allow myself to heal. I can see and feel radiant sunlight warming my body, sending comfort and solace deep into my heart. I can see and feel a powerful blue-green wave of healing washing through me from head to toe, clearing away any unwanted debris and taking it out with the tide. I can see and feel a warm, glowing blanket of magical comfort surrounding me, enveloping me with peace and safety. More and more, I can perceive the invisible assistance around me guiding me back to my own strength, courage, and resourcefulness. I salute my ability to survive and my courage to heal, in spite of what I have experienced. I understand that there are treasures waiting to be discovered in the anguish of my past. I know there is a part of me deep inside that can never be diminished or destroyed. I know that beneath the darkness that overtakes me at times, there is a place where I am radiant with the beauty of my own being. More and more, I know that a time is coming when I will accept my sorrow release my anger, and forgive myself. I look forward to the time I will reclaim my full strength and express the full range of my gifts. I know that my heart is large enough to hold my suffering and to transform it. More and more, I can see the beauty all around me 
and draw nourishment from it. More and more, I can take the time to touch a leaf, smell the morning air, and receive the caress of a soft breeze on my face. I welcome my awareness of the peaceful power deep in my heart, the seat of my strength, and the home of my spirit. More and more, I know that my heart can heal with the vast energy of its own loving kindness. I can feel around me a protective cushion of energy containing all the kindness, good wishes, prayers, gentle smiles, and sweet gestures that have ever been sent my way. I know that I have things to do, gifts to give, purposes to accomplish. I require my full strength and courage and peace of mind to do this. I declare my intention to heal myself in body, mind, and spirit. More and more, I understand that this will happen as it should, in its own way and its own time. I invite assistance from friends and loved ones, past, present, and future, to lend me their support and strength. I see myself surrounded by their love and caring, and I feel it all through me like a warm wave. I know I am better and better able to accept what I feel as my inner truth of the moment. More and more, I can acknowledge the times I feel anger, loneliness, sorrow, guilt, terror, despair, or shame. I know that the more I can acknowledge and accept what I feel, without criticism or blame, the more I allow myself to heal.
more and more, I can accept my feelings, soften around them, and breathe through them. I am better and better able to be kind and gentle toward myself. I can see myself becoming more and more patient with myself and others. More and more, I know that when I can let go of harsh expectations of myself and others, I allow myself to heal. I know that I am learning to listen to my body and sense what it needs. More and more, I can consider the possibility that my body is my ally, my oldest friend, and my steadiest companion. I know that when I appreciate my body, respect it, and take good care of it, I allow myself to heal. I can see and feel radiant sunlight warming my body sending comfort and solace deep into my heart. I can see and feel a powerful blue-green wave of healing washing through me from head to toe clearing away any unwanted debris and taking it out with the tide. I can see and feel a warm, glowing blanket of magical comfort surrounding me, enveloping me with peace and safety. More and more, I can perceive the invisible assistance around me guiding me back to my own strength, courage, and resourcefulness. I salute my ability to survive and my courage to heal in spite of what I have experienced. I understand that there are treasures waiting to be discovered in the anguish of my past.
I know there is a part of me deep inside that can never be diminished or destroyed. I know that beneath the darkness that overtakes me at times, there is a place where I am radiant with the beauty of my own being. More and more, I know that a time is coming when I will accept my sorrow release my anger and forgive myself. I look forward to the time I will reclaim my full strength and express the full range of my gifts. My heart is large enough to hold my suffering and to transform it. More and more, I can see the beauty all around me and draw nourishment from it. More and more, I can take the time to touch a leaf, smell the morning air, and receive the caress of a soft breeze on my face. I welcome my awareness of the peaceful power deep in my heart, the seat of my strength, and the home of my spirit. More and more, I know that my heart can heal with the vast energy of its own loving kindness. I can feel around me a protective cushion of energy containing all the kindness, good wishes, prayers, gentle smiles, and sweet gestures that have ever been sent my way. I know that I have things to do, gifts to give, purposes to accomplish. I require my full strength and courage and peace of mind to do this. I know that I am held in the hands of God, and I am perfectly, utterly safe. And so you are. 